This, ladies and gentlemen, is a lime. A normal lime. This is not a lime. Well, it's a lime, but it is not a normal lime. This is something that I picked up at a Bangladeshi market out here in Queens. Uh, this is one that I got at a supermarket. Who cares about that one? Now, the thing with this is I got this from a market that was selling uh, a bunch of different limes, but they called them uh, Desi limes or Deji limes. So that just means that it's, it's a lime from the Indian subcontinent. They didn't distinguish this as being anything in particular. However, it was $10 a pound. <laughs> so this thing is not a normal lime, but uh, I don't know what exactly it is. It might be a different species, it might be a different variety. This is actually the third uh, video that I've done like this recently. I, I did two others earlier, and uh, to get information about this, I put this up on my community board. I got a few responses from people from Bangladesh who knew what some of the citruses were. This one I, has gotten the most confusion. Most people are, who've seen my post about this were just like, everything else, like those might be kind of interesting. That though is just a line. It's just a lime. It was $10 a pound. It better not be just a lime. I'm not sure if this is going to be a very interesting lime. So to make things a little bit more exciting, I'm shooting this in 4K. <laughs> I don't think I have the proper equipment to edit it in 4K, but uh, does the quality look better? I don't know. But let's get a real good look at this lime and appreciate all $10 a pound worth so we can really get a good look at what makes it different than a normal lime. One notable thing about it is that the proportions are a little bit different than a normal lime. The top has like a little uh, little nipple to it. It's like a little protrusion at the very top. It's got a small stem. That's pretty normal. And it's got a little, uh, a little, whatever, a little, a little point at the end. One annoying thing with shooting in 4K with my camera is I need to manually focus. Uh, how does that look? That looks okay. One fun thing about this is that when I tried to buy this at the store, the vendor there tried to talk me out of it. He said, brother, you do not want that. Go buy this other one. You do not want this one. And I was like, no, no, I want it. He's like, no, no, no. He like tried to refuse to sell it to me. And he only gave it to me after I told him like, no, I don't care what it tastes like. Uh, I want it. So it is possible that this is uh, not meant to be eaten. I believe all citruses are edible, but it is possible that this one is meant more for like a medicinal purpose or cleaning or something like that. On the inside, that looks like the other two. The outer rind has a smell kind of like camphor. It's around the same sourness as a, as a lemon. But the flavor on it is different. It's not a lime. It's not a normal lime, for sure. The sourness on it hits you fast and then dissipates really quickly. So the inside is pretty good. It's, it's somewhere between a, a lemon and a orange. Uh, it's kind of harsh, not, not much else to it, but you know, a lot of people in this part of the world do not use this for the inside. They use it for the rind on the outside. So whether it is for, for cooking or medicine and uh, what have you. So let me try a little bit of that. It's very strong. That's something special. That is uh, that is not like the other limes that I've had or the other lemons I've had. That has a very distinct flavor to it. It's like an herbal cough drop. Very menthol-y. I would not be surprised if this is used as a medicine because it tastes like a medicine. I can see someone wanting to take that rind and brew it into um, like an herbal tea to, to cure like a cough or something. I figured it out. I know what this is. This is a ginger lime. It's just a very unripe one. 
maybe three, four years ago, I reviewed another citrus that I got from the same market. It was described to me as a ginger lime. And I didn't really make the connection because it was, you know, over three years ago. <laughs> but I just actually it was just like, wait a minute, and I stopped filming. I went over, I watched my old video again. And that is exactly how I described the outside as smelling like menthol. In the video that I filmed years ago, I actually had a green one and a yellow one, but they were both big. They were the size of like a large orange. They were not the size of a tiny little uh, lime. One thing that I didn't do with it before is I didn't make a tea out of it. I didn't really use the rind, and I think the rind is where the, the party really is. <laughs> As I'm waiting for the ginger lime to infuse, let's take a moment to appreciate what my cat looks like in 4K. It's good! Um, I mean, it definitely tastes like something that I would want to drink if I were sick. If I had a cold, and I drank this, this would be kind of like a comforting sort of thing to have. I don't know if I would spend $10 a pound on it, maybe if I were sick, <laughs> but if it were cheaper, then I would, I would have fun playing around with this. Um, it definitely provides something more than just a regular lime, which is interesting because you see this thing, you just think it's a lime. I posted this up on YouTube and everyone was just like, dude, that's a lime, you got ripped off. This has a very distinct flavor. It's definitely very interesting, and it's the sort of thing that it would be so easy to pass by at a market. So it pays to kind of examine things every now and then, see like, wait a minute, why is that so expensive? Maybe it's worth picking that up. Maybe you aren't just getting ripped off, you're getting something that is, uh, is unique. So uh, I think that's the case here. Mystery solved. It's a ginger lime, although be it a very small one, and um, ended up being pretty interesting. That's all the weird citruses for now, but uh, I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I'll find a few other ones and uh, I'll see you then. All right, take care guys, bye-bye. I would like to give a big shout out to Alan Choi. Alan is a super patron over on Patreon.com. Patreon.com, that is how I can afford to go on all the adventures that I do on this channel and how I buy all the fruit that I buy. So if you would like to support the channel like Alan does, uh, check out the link in the description below. Another way to support the channel is to buy a t-shirt. I've got t-shirts for sale, like this one right here, over in the description as well. And Alan, thank you.